Hello, and welcome here in my busy little shop. Yeah, my video is called My Last Belt, but there's a reason why I called it that. This is my last belt that I made here, and I've got this here as a point of comparison. This is my last belt, and someone asked me how I got started in Leathercraft, and I thought since I was gonna show you my first belt, I would show you my last belt. So this is my last belt. My first belt was this belt right here. And uh, I started leather work really because I loved this hardware and I wanted a belt that was suited for this hardware. The other one I had worn out after probably 25 years of wearing it. And I went to a leather store and they wanted to charge me 250 bucks to make a belt for the hardware. So I said, I can do that. So I bought the supplies to make this belt for me. And while it may look okay, it's really somewhat embarrassing for me. Uh, it is not made from the right leather. It's too lightweight leather. It's about an eight ounce. It's got a tremendous amount of stretch in it. It will stretch almost two inches end to end if I pull on it. And this is where I started. And I've thought several times about cutting the hardware off and redoing it since this was the hardware that started the whole thing. But I keep it as a little bit of a reminder of, of where I started with that. So I just wanted to take a minute and talk about that. Uh, let me pan back for just a minute. So I'll jump back out here in front of the camera again. I'm more comfortable behind the camera instead of in the camera. But I feel like if I'm somewhat face to face with somebody, they can see that I'm sincere. I jumped in, tried leather craft as just a hobby. Uh, made the first belt, made a few coin purses. Being somewhat a perfectionist, I'm like, I can do better than the last one. So I kept working from one project to the next. And I like being creative. Uh, here's an example here of a, another belt that I made here. And I saw one like this. And so I thought I can make something like that. So I worked on that belt as well. So really, I'm here, I just wanted to encourage people out there. If you're wanting to try a hobby, try a hobby. The worst that could happen is you're not successful in it. But more than likely, if you really try hard, you'll be successful in that. So I won't drag this video out longer than that. Like I said, someone asked me how I got started in Leathercraft, and that was it. It was because I liked the hardware that was on a belt that I had. And it's kind of funny because I don't use the belt because it's made from the wrong leather. And like I said earlier, I've thought several times about redoing it, but I think I'm gonna keep it just as a reminder of where I'm at. And I've shown other people that are interested in the hobby to, hey, here's where I started. You can start and you can improve from there. So I hope you have a great day. Uh, if you like the message, please like, share, and subscribe. And remember my video on Sunday, the March the 19th, if you watch that video and you comment on it, then you'll be entered in a drawing to win a free belt. It could be this belt here, or it could be something that you want that's different. Hope you have a great day. Thanks.